Training begins for Anglin Family Pigeons. Four weeks before the first race, time to start training. First race is four weeks tomorrow. In there, I've got 26 hens. Let's get them basketed. Right, two baskets of 13. Here we go. Start learning again, girls. Basket it before, but they don't know the drill. But they'll soon learn. Good girls, what we do there? All right, let's drive these through. All right, boys, go on then. Here we go. First lot of the hens down there, just coming over the hedge there now. 27 minutes. Come on in, come on, come on, come on. 27 minutes to do 20 and a half mile. Come on then, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What a great trap. Two weeks to go to the first race. 
they need a bit more distance, they're quite fit now. Out of girls. Go on then. Come on. Come on, girl. I don't know if that side door open there. So there's my ETS pads. Here's my landing board. As you can see, that goes up. ETS pads are inside. Tiny bit of conditioning seed in for them. They've still got a little bit of barley left over from last night. This is the cock section. Starting to come well. So the lead up to the 2024 racing season, had the young birds out this morning, they've had a nice little bath. The weather has finally broken. See that funny yellow thing up there? Beautiful day down here in Cornwall. So this is Thursday, the, start racing on the 20th, so 17th. So just have a look at the birds. I've just been th through it and uh, burnt everything. So birds have been coming well from training. So they've had about 30 tosses so far up to 33 mile. So these are the cocks. They went. They had a 20, 20 miler today, or just over 20 miler today. Uh, there wasn't a lot of wind. Beautiful sun, and they did it in about 20 minutes, which was very good. No wind. You'd expect them to do 60 mile an hour. So there's the cocks. Some B12 in the waters today. Get them fed soon. So today they will get all they can eat. A few more young ones. Like walking around. Here's my hens. Now my hens are bang on at the minute. I think this weekend will be a hens day for me. I consider just sending hens. Oh look, someone laden. I've got that pair up there in the corner. Two hens paired together. And one of them just laid, so but yeah, I think the hens will be right on for this week. 83 mile. It's going to be a quick race, which I don't particularly like quick races. I'd rather have a headwind and win out of turn or be up the sheet as far as you can. But yeah, scrape floors every day. B12 in the water there again. Never leave any feed in the feeder. So tonight they'll have all they can eat. And all they can eat tonight will be, this is the corn I'm racing on this year, I raced on it with Youngbridge last year. That there is Versalaga Super Winner. It's a really light mix. It's got lots and lots of carbohydrates. 63% carbohydrates this mix is. Now, a lot of people say, seeing we're flying predominantly into a headwind, why would I feed so much carbohydrates? It's something that I've always done and it really works for me. So I do things very different than a lot of people, but it works for us, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. So that is their mix. They also get secret corn which is barley that's molten barley so they will get a third molten barley two-thirds super winner every day of the week so now tonight they will get straight super winner all they can eat fed in small amounts now there's 25 hens in there so first of all, I'll put 10 ounces down. 
they'll clear the lot within seconds I'll put another 10 ounces down they'll clear all that and then I'll put another 5 ounces down they'll probably clear all that they normally do so that's an ounce per pigeon now after the ounce per pigeon I'll put it down in very small amounts so they eat all they can eat tonight as soon as they start leaving some that'll be it it'll be taken away they get no food on a Friday except for a little tiny bit of conditioning seed which I mix myself which is 50% trapping and conditioning and then the other 50% is made up of linseed hemp and safflower and they'll get a pinch of that each tomorrow about two o'clock basket about three uh, to be in club for a half past three so the only reason why they get a little bit of lint or a little bit of conditioning seed is just so, hopefully so they go and have a drink now they'll get that b12 in their water today and i'll change it tomorrow before i give them their conditioning seed my thinking behind that is anything you put in the water will reduce their water intake so i put a lot of my um, supplements on their corn and I leave the water plain I might add a touch of apple cider vinegar uh, but not a lot because if you put apple cider vinegar in it will decrease their water intake and that's the worst thing you can have for pigeons is dehydrated if you've got a dehydrated pigeon going away to a race they don't drink that much on the transporter then you've got problems they get very confused and mixed up and they lose their home and ability until they put themselves right. So that's my makeup. The next video will be basket in day, which is tomorrow. And I'll go through every single pigeon because there's some in here that I won't be sending. I've got a few, I'm trying to pick some out now. Well, that hen there, she's got a broken leg as you can see. She's favoring her leg, she won't go. She hasn't been training for about a week. There's a couple of old, old hens in here. I'm trying to see them because they've got green rings as well. They're 2018 pigeons. Most of the green rings are yearlings. I like to carry plenty of yearlings over. I can't see her, but she's in here somewhere. But yeah, 2018 pigeon for an 83 mile race. She's not gonna do it. There's no point sending her to a race for 83 miles. She's more of a plodder. She's a bush art. She's not one of my bulks. So I will leave her home and she'll go for a steadier day when we get up the road a little bit further. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. To subscribe to my channel is totally free. All you do is sign into your account and hit the subscribe button. If you click the notification button, you'll get a notification of every time I post a new video.